Hi there, welcome to the Rad Bike Adventure. My name's Darren and today I'm gonna to talk about sun safety. These are my five tips to keep you safe in the sun when you're on bike tour. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the Rad Bike Adventure. If you're new here, we talk about all things bicycle and bike packing related. And today we're gonna to talk about sun safety. Since I work in the dermatology field, I know how important it is for sun safety and I can see what happens when you don't take care of the skin. So today I wanna to give you some tips to better protect yourself on the road. All right, so tip number one, it's an obvious one, sunscreen. You gotta use it and reapply. Nothing's waterproof. You gotta put it on every hour and you gotta reapply cause you're gonna sweat and it's gonna just come right off. Here's a little side tip for you guys. Places that I notice people forget to put sunscreen. The sides of their neck, the tops of their ears, the creases of their nose, the temple area, and the bottom of the lip. And also don't forget your shins. They get hit a lot with the sun and I'd say half of our skin, I'd say half of our skin cancers happen down there, especially if you wear shorts, obviously. This is the Neutrogena stick. Um, any, you know, any brand's fine. We really like this mineral uh, sunscreen stick because it's really nice, easy to go on while you're on the bike. So you don't have to fiddle with liquid or a spray. Um, sticks are really good to have in your bike and just right in the, the handlebar area so that you can just quickly put it on. All right, tip number two. If you can't put sunscreen on, you gotta cover up. So what do you cover up with? Well, we really like sun sleeves. Um, you just put them on. You can even soak them if you need, if it's really hot, because you're thinking, what, I'm gonna put on long sleeves? Well, soak them, that'll keep you cool, all right? If you don't like sun sleeves, then I recommend just wearing a cover up, a nice, loose, fitted long sleeve that you can take off or on and you know it dries quickly you can do you know a cotton blend or a polyester blend another way to cover up is with your helmet you can either have a visor like this where it covers up the front or you can get those fun things where it's the visor all the way around i know it's not the best looking but it will protect you your alternative is to put like a handkerchief like under your helmet like this or they have those like head rag things that you can wear that help protect your neck because the back of your neck is going to get hit up if you don't have long hair so um, this is another way to cover up while on the road okay so tip number three is don't assume clouds mean you're safe when it's a cloud layer, actually the UV radiation goes back and forth, up and down. And so it can actually be worse for you. So cloud cover does not mean that you're safe from the sun. It can actually mean that it's way worse. So when it's cloudy out there, unless it's a hurricane, thunderstorm, raining, you know, in that sense, yes, obviously you probably don't need sunscreen. But if it's just kind of cloudy and you're still getting sun coming through, then cover up. Um, a little side story, Ryan had their worst burn of their life while on tour when it was cloudy. Didn't think it was going to be that, you know, have that much sun exposure, but actually it was a lot. And so watch out. Lobster red. So tip number four um, in our sun safety video is seeking shade. If you can find a tree, you know, a bushy area or something, go seek it out when you're taking breaks. Don't be silly and take a break on the side of the road where there's no shade. You're just gonna deplete yourself. You're gonna get all heat bombed and not realize what you're doing. So when you do take a break, seek the shade. And also, not only does your skin get damaged but from the sun, but also your materials too. So bike bags, the bike itself, the tires can all get deteriorated from the sun. So try to protect it as much as you can on the tour. All right, so tip number five is don't go riding in the middle of the day if you can help it. You know, the hours from 11 to two are the sunniest, the hottest. So if you are riding in summer or late spring, watch out for the middle of the day. What we found useful, especially in Southeast Asia or the place where we rode, where it was extremely hot and humid, we took breaks in the middle of the day. So we found, you know, they had sun shade shelters where you could just take a rest um, or hopping into a, you know, a shop to buy a drink or a snack and just hanging out there for a little bit to try to beat out the hottest part of the day. So so if you can avoid that as much as you can, it will protect your skin and it will prolong your tour. You guys, I have created a little shade shelter for myself with this bandana. <laughs> it's helping actually. Getting my neck, my ears. Over here, the sun's just like burning onto my face, but not anymore. 
So while on tour, you're gonna to be exposed to the sun a lot. So these tips are gonna keep you safe while on the road and extend your tour. So remember, wear the sunscreen, reapply. It's not waterproof, so you're gonna to have to do that. If you can't put sunscreen on, then cover up. That'll keep you safe from the sun and keep you cool from the sun. And watch out for those tight-fitted clothes. Those will overheat you and could cause heat rash. So if you're noticing a heat rash going on, try to switch to something more loose-fitted. And if you like this video, hit that thumb, thumbs up button and the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments section. And remember guys, rat on. All about bicycle touring, bike packing, and bike style life. Bike, bike, I can't say that f***ing word. Lifestyle? Bike lifestyle bike style, bike lifestyle yeah. related.